Yesterday, we told you about a local family's nightmare after they exchanged their cell phone. Pictures of their child and personal contact information ended up in the hands of a total stranger. Everybody talking about this. Mm -hmm. Well, tonight, a call for change in the wake of that Action News investigation. Investigator Paul Van Osdal live in the newsroom with this. Paul. Well, Wendy, this is a bigger problem than most of us may realize. Every day, 80,000 used phones are up for sale on eBay. A recent study found many of them have pictures, text messages, and emails from the previous owners. A Pittsburgh expert tells me consumers, industry, and government all need to do a better job protecting personal information. Last month, Jeff Casino got this text from a stranger showing pictures of his fiance Kim and her son Drew. This guy has pictures of our house and, you know, pictures of our bank account, emails, you know, who knows what kind of information he has of ours. Jeff had turned in his broken phone at an authorized Verizon wireless retailer. They later resold it without wiping Jeff's personal information from the phone, though the company said they tried. The stranger told Jeff he bought the broken phone on eBay. On Wednesday, eBay had 87,000 used phones for sale and thousands more broken phones. It's unclear how many had personal information, but a recent experiment by the antivirus company Avast may hold a clue. Avast bought 20 used phones on eBay and found all of them had personal information. A total of 40,000 photos, 750 emails and text messages, 250 contact names and addresses, and one completed loan application. It didn't take us long. We always found personal information. And in some cases, we found very private photographs. Most of us understand we can't just reach inside someone's mailbox and start grabbing their letters. Federal law clearly prohibits that. But an expert tells me the law is murkier when it comes to protecting what's inside our smartphones. Yes, it's a problem. Pitt Law School professor and cybersecurity expert David Thaw said Jeff Casino's nightmare shows the government needs tougher penalties for companies that fail to wipe phones before reselling them. And when the government puts that in, it's a greater deterrent. Then people are more likely to say, you know what, let's not make the business risk decision of doing a partial job of wiping the phone. Let's make sure we get it right. Your life is on your, your device. There's a tremendous amount of personal information on there. Consumers should wipe their own phones and remove the storage card before turning them in or selling them. Every phone has a different wipe procedure. Avast has an app for Android phones that can help ensure they are wiped clean. In the newsroom, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.